Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at a gadget that supposedly allows you to make potato chips in your microwave. I'm also going to compare that to a popular recipe online that supposedly does the same thing without a gadget. So let's see if it really works and if a gadget like that's even necessary in today's video. All right, so when someone suggested I do a microwave potato chip maker, I kind of scoured Amazon and most of the reviews of all the products on there are pretty bad. So I had to, had to pick the least bad of those and that was this one right here, which is supposedly makes healthy potato chips. The reason I picked this one is because this is the only one out of three semi-popular ones that didn't catch on fire in people's microwaves. It also is the only one that has a slicer, but it's also the smallest of the bunch. But really I want to see if it works at all and if it's even necessary. So let me crack this thing open and get started. Once I get it out of the Fort Knox packaging, I've got a slicer on here. That's good. I'll put the instructions uh, on the screen. It says slice the potatoes, be sure to use a safety guard, season to taste. The way I understand this is that we use this slicer to get the potatoes in there. We load this thing up with the potatoes and then we're supposed to just microwave for four minutes. It sounds very easy. I've cut the end off of a potato here. I'm gonna use the, the guard as they say to do. So this is pretty much what we're supposed to do here. I know they're supposed to be thin, but that's, that's like a piece of paper. These are thin and they're not even even. They're a little bit off, but let's see. It seems, it really seems too thin. They definitely need a lock for this top too. I know I'm supposed to use this, gu this guard, but the guard is making it really hard to hold on to. I'm just going to use my hand for now until I get closer. I feel like if I push really hard, I get slightly thicker chips. Here's what I'm getting. I mean, there's some of them are so thin, they're not even all the way across the potato. I'll, I'll pick out the thickest ones and see what I get. I'm not impressed by this slicer. It's not only is it thin, but it's not even even. One side is thicker than the other. If I push really hard, I think I get thicker slices. Put a little bit of salt in there. I'll try to pick the thickest chips I can. Here we go. Some of these look pretty good. That's, that's a nice looking chip. All right, there we go. Beautiful, right? Now we're supposed to put it in the microwave just like this. They say multiple times, don't microwave this. Just microwave this. There we go. All right, it says microwave. Four minutes maximum. Four minutes. And we're off. So in four minutes, I'm gonna check back and see how it goes. All right, let me see, let me pull one out of here. The texture feels nice. It feels like a potato chip. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Some of these thinner ones though, honestly, they're not as bad as I thought they'd be. Texture wise, let me uh, taste it. Hmm. Oh. I'm a little surprised. I might need to play with the time a little bit. They seem maybe a little bit overdone, but I'm slightly surprised that they came out as well as they did. The texture is actually perfect. They're crispy. There's not a lot of them. I'm gonna be done with them before I finish the sentence. Let me move on to the recipe and see if that's gonna yield better results without a device like this. Now it might be more time consuming, but it also might yield better results. So let's go to the recipe next. So if the recipe works well, I'll link it below. If not, I'll still link it below, but you probably won't want to follow it. So this recipe, step one says to cut them about a 16th to an eighth of an inch with a knife. So I'm going to do that first. After cutting them, I'm going to put them in some ice water. They say that helps remove the starch so they're a little bit crispier. All right, I've got my potatoes thinly sliced here. I think most of these are between an eighth and a sixteenth. Pretty close. Now they say to put them in some ice water. All right, now it's time to dry these off. A couple of recipes said to dry them off between two towels. That's what I'm going to do here. Now we can put them on a plate lined with a paper towel or parchment paper and put some oil on them. This technique is definitely a lot more work, but it also could yield better results, which I kind of think it's going to. So would a couple of extra minutes be worth it? Probably. A little bit of salt. This recipe says to do one and a half to two and a half minutes on the first side and then flip them. So let's try that first. I have a feeling these are going to come out better. It's not as many chips, but the chips 
use a lot more potatoes. So actually I didn't get any more potatoes and less chips. All right, we'll go, we'll go two minutes, see what happens. So the recipe used a little bit thicker chips than the gadget did. It seemed like it took a little more care. I think it's gonna be a little better, but I guess if you're really lazy and just wanna throw something in the microwave, the gadget might do really well. But let's see how much better the recipe really is. And... All right, they don't look very done. I'm supposed to flip these now. All right, they've been flipped. I'm gonna go two more minutes. And we're off. One recipe I read said it takes six to seven minutes, so the two minutes on this recipe might be a little bit on the low side, but I think that I can just keep putting it in there for a minute increments until I get it right. Four minutes total, definitely not done yet. We gotta flip this one more time. I'm gonna keep going. All right, here we go, there we go, all right. Total time, about six and a half minutes. Let me, uh, let me taste a couple of these. All right, let's try the recipe version. Mmm. 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 The recipe chips are thicker. Having cut them by hand, they're a little bit more uniform, so, which is weird because the slicer should be more uniform by hand, but the slicer was so thin that it was hard to get that uniform. I think these are just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than the, uh, than the smaller ones are. Even though I ate several of these, the ones out of the potato chip device are just so thin, you don't get a lot of potato chips. These are thicker, even though I cut them pretty thin. These just feel like homemade potato chips more. Hey look, Brandon's in here, he's gonna give me a taste test. First of all, Brandon, which one of these two looks better as far as more appetizing potato chips goes? Um, a I'll, or B? I'll say A. A. So he says that, well, the brownness isn't really, that's more my fault than anything, but. Oh, okay. All right, so let's pick uh, the least brown of these. All right. And kind of a similar one. Those are probably pretty similar, right? I'm gonna pick these two chips and see which one he likes the best. They're about the same amount of brownness. All right, A and B. This is B. B, yes. He tries B first. <laughs> get, the, get the less appetizing one out of the way. A is next. So what do you think? <laughs> so, so what do you think? There's no wrong answer. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'm still going to go with A. You think A, a tastes better? A tastes a little bit better. What if, what if A took a lot longer to make? Then I would just go for B. Oh, see, there you go. Like, it, it wasn't that much of a difference. Okay, see, so the lazy people will go, <laughs> I'm not saying you're lazy, but the lazier people would actually want to go with B. And the B was this gadget right here. Oh, okay. So this was, A was... A was a recipe you know? and B was in the device, this one right here. This took probably closer to 10 minutes to make. This took about five. Oh, 10 versus five, that's not that bad. Yeah. So you still say A? Yeah, I okay. still say A. All right, A it is. All right, thanks, Brandon. All right, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> so in the end, I really can't hate on the microwave device too much because it did work. I thought the chips were a little bit on the thin side, but it was maybe a little bit easier, maybe a little bit faster, although you didn't really get as much volume in the final result. The recipe takes longer, but I think the result's a little bit better. But if you're on the lazier end of the scale, something like this might actually work well for you. If not, the recipe is certainly gonna be better off for a lot of people. If you've made microwave potato chips, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, look, Brandon. <laughs> I didn't even get my second word out. Are you ready? <laughs> oh.